Hi, you can see that I have a map here within my geoprocessing toolbars under analysis tools, proximity, I have a couple of buffer tools. I have one called buffer. I want to, I have one, another called multiple ring buffer. I'm going to show an example of looking at buffers. In this case, it's around wood pellet production plants in North Carolina. I have three of these out in east, eastern North Carolina. I'm going to click on buffer and I have my input features which are my wood pellet plants. And I'm gonna create a brand new feature class. Okay, so you can see the brand new feature class, it should be populated in a second. And I'm just storing it in this particular database here, my working database. I have my linear unit and my distance is going to be, I'm gonna type in 10 miles. Now I have my planar, my method that, that, I, that I, it's on the sphere or if it's on a flat surface, my dissolve type, I always like clicking on dissolve. Okay, so it's gonna create one brand new feature class because I don't care where exactly it is within 10 miles or outside of 10 miles. So it'll be stored as one feature class. And when I'm all set, I'm gonna click run. And you'll see the results of this. It's just gonna be a single polygon feature class with all those outside of within 10 miles or outside of 10 miles. And if I right mouse click, open my attribute table, you can see the individual features which are gonna be uh, disassociated in this particular case that satisfy that query. So within and then outside. And so I'll clear those and X out. Now, the other type of analysis that I have is multiple ring buffer. I'll double click my input features. Once again, it'll be my wood pellet plants. And I'm gonna type in a 15 30, 45, 60, 45, and 60. Distant unit is going to be miles once again. You need to satisfy these. And you can see it's in the output feature class. This is just the default output feature class. But I could specify this within my browse button. Dissolve. Make sure these are non overlapping. And distance. I'm going to run this once again. See what this looks like. Here it is. So now I've created this, these multiple ring buffers right here. And I can right mouse click, open attribute, and you can see an example here where they combine. So I've got my 15 miles, 15 to 30, 45 to 50, and 50 to 60. Now, what I can do here is we get into some of the weighted index models or advanced analysis that we've talked about is that I can add a brand new field to this and give these weights and then overlay, combine these, intersect these, union these with other feature classes such as buffers or maybe county values that we've we've added these. So I can add a brand new column, give it a weight, you know, 10, 5, 3, 1, that can be combined with other ones because as we run overlay analysis, it'll combine these with the attribute tables as well as the spatial data. So you can see I have a couple of very basic examples of buffers. I've got the single ring buffer, and I've got the multiple ring buffer as well.